Hey everyone, let me show you how to get some great looking Twitch panel headers completely free. Let's get right into it. I'm excited to bring everyone another free resource for streaming and this time it's going to be some Twitch panel headers. These are the images that you'll see underneath your video on your Twitch channel and you can use them for things like social media and donation links channel information such as your schedule or chat rules, or just basically anything you think is relevant to your channel. Before I actually get started, I want to give a huge thank you to the streamer Misty Misty. These designs are actually based off a design I did for her and her channel, and she was cool enough to allow me to modify it a bit and then release the design for free and share it with all of you. So make sure to hop over to her channel and say thank you when you get a chance. Now. Let's get to these designs. All you need to do is head over to nerdodie.com and the direct link will be in the description below. Here, I actually did a full write up about how to use these images properly. The only thing that you really need to know before you download these images is that there's actually a difference between panel images that are links and ones that are not links. What you need to know is that if you add a panel image as a link, it will not have any spacing below it. But if your header image is not a link or if it doesn't contain a link, then Twitch will automatically add 15 pixels below your image. So to solve this issue, there are two versions of each image on my site. All you really need to know is that if you're planning on making your image into a clickable link, then download the file that ends in dash link. This will help prevent any uneven panels and that weird spacing that sometimes happens on some people's channels. It also helps to prevent against words butting up against your image and just looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. Anyways, to download these images, simply right click the ones that you need and click save image as. Then just store them somewhere on your computer. Next, what we need to do is actually set them up inside of your Twitch account. So once you're logged into your Twitch account, go to your channel and then under your video area, you'll find a switch for edit panels and click that to turn it on. Next, click Add Image, then choose the appropriate image for the panel you're making. On my channel, I'm going to add in a panel header image that links to my YouTube channel. So for this, I'm going to choose YouTube-Link. A cropping window will appear once you select your image, but it should be automatically adjusted to the full size needed. And remember, if you're using a dash link file, there will actually be extra space on the bottom, and this is intended. Also, you will not need to add in a panel title since these images basically work as your title unless you really want to. Now you just need to fill out any additional information in the description box and hit submit. If you want to add more, just click the plus box to add another panel and repeat this process. And if you can't find the panel header that you're actually looking for, please make sure to leave a comment on this video and even on my website and let me know which ones you're interested in. Uh, just like my social media pop-up, I'll try to add in my popular requests after the fact, so make sure to check back in on this post every once in a while. I'd like to end this video with a shout out to anyone that supported my channel by liking the videos, subscribing to my channel, or sharing it with your friends. I really, really appreciate it, and a special shout out to my current patrons on Patreon, because offering these types of videos in these types of resources is what my campaign is all about. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you really like the video, make sure to subscribe for more from Nerd or Die. Thanks for watching.